Okay, before we go out to the vehicle, the first thing we want to do is check for technical service bulletins. Um, we've got all data pulled up here, and we know that the P0016 has to do with the variable valve timing system. So I'm going to come in here, go to engine, um, timing components, variable valve timing, and technical service bulletins. And we do see that there is a TSB for this particular vehicle. There's a few TSBs um, regarding P0016. Um, so if there was actually a problem with this vehicle, we want to start by checking out these TSBs and uh, addressing those concerns first, or at least looking into them. Use that as a starting point. Okay, now we're to the vehicle. This is a 2005 Toyota Camry. Um, we've removed the plastic um, cover from the top of the engine already. Um, so the first thing we want to do is a visual inspection. Um, check the sensors and um, the VVT solenoid. Um, its connections, its wires, all that stuff. Um, and after we've done the visual inspection, we're going to move to checking the engine oil um, on this particular vehicle. The engine oil is full and clean. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is um, test the VVT system with the scan tool. This car, it's pretty primitive. Um, it only has uh, variable valve timing on the intake side, and there isn't a lot of um, different tests in the scan tool for the system. Basically, we just have it on or off 100% um, duty cycle or um, completely off with the scan tool. Um, <clears throat> but we can enter this test. Um, takes a couple seconds here. Okay, so yes, we're good there. Um, so, like I said, all we can do with this is turn the um, VVT system completely on or completely off. Um, and when we turn it on, we should see a drastic change in engine performance. Um, the engine should stall if it's working correctly. And once again, this vehicle has no problems with the VVT system, so it should stall. And we're going to turn the test on, and the vehicle stalls. So we know that on this vehicle, the VVT system is working correctly. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is check the integrity of the camshaft and crankshaft signals. Um, like you, a lot of you, I don't have a high-end scope, so we're going to use a gold um, snap-on vantage graphing meter. Um, we use back probe, back probe test leads like this to tap into the uh, camshaft sensor wiring. And now that we've done that, we can look on the. Oh, oh we just lost it. We can look on the uh, graphing meter here and see that the on this particular vehicle, because it's good. The uh, camshaft signal is just the way it should be. And the kind of the cool thing is about this old Vantage is that it actually shows you what a good pattern looks like. Okay, so first we've got the Vantage hooked up. And I've already set it up here, you can see um, this is the oil control solenoid. And once again I've tapped into it with uh, back probe test leads. And we can see here, once again this vehicle has no problems. And here's its nice pattern on the Vantage. Um, we okay, so we've gone ahead and removed the oil control solenoid and valve. Um, we want to make sure that there's no debris in the valve, uh, such as metal, um, that would prevent it from working properly. And we've already looked at its pattern on the graphing multimeter, and it looks good. And this resistance check is kind of, um, I don't know, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot. 
they tell you to do it in Toyo's repair manual, but looking at the pattern on the meter is the most important part, um, the part we just looked at previously. But um, if you want to double check the solenoid resistance, we can. Um, if it's a little bit out of spec, it's not a big deal. This one I know is working just fine, and it... Oh. So, let me get if I see if I can hold these on here properly. And let's see. so, all right. So we can see it's uh yeah, its resistance is 7.7 .7 ohms, and that's what within spec. Um, you can see right on the Vantage Pro, it's really nice. It shows you spec is between 6.9 and 7.9, so it's all good. Um, this thing is working just fine. So, um, if you've gotten to this point and you've checked out the low-hanging fruit, um, the next step would be to um, pull off the valve cover and check the timing.